met Duke? Did I just get? No, yeah, I definitely just met Duke. Like I think. Oh, but you're you don't have Battle City. Yeah, you're 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 coming up right on Battle City, but that's uh the Dungeon Dice Monsters arc. Hold on. It's where Joey's oh, yeah, dressed up as a dog. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. Or Joey. That's exactly where I'm at. Yugi's a fucking. Yugi just king of games for real. How the fuck you beat somebody in a game that you never heard of and just now learned how to play? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, don't make no fucking sense. I remember Duke was like, nah, you had to have cheated to beat Pegasus. Because Pegasus beat me in this game I made up, and he didn't even know the rules. And I'm just sitting there like, really, Duke? Really, Duke? that means you suck, Duke. So the guy that didn't even want to hear the rules him. somehow beat you, and you didn't think he was cheating. But the guy that beat the guy that nobody can beat, you think he's cheating? Duke, I think you got your priorities messed up. Stop messing with dice. Nah, man. Yeah, I had just met him, so I barely... I think I'm about two episodes into just meeting him. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're still fairly... You're still oh, in fairly yeah. early. I like oh, how a yeah. lot of Yugi's losses are just him giving up. I mean, half of the time, willingly. Nah, 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 nah with that Kaiba thing, Yami wanted to kill him. Yami was like... <laughs> Yugi was like, we can't do it, you... Yami, Pharaoh... He's gonna fall off the ledge if we attack him. Yeah. You wanna? Let's go. Why did we come here? You wanna see your granddad, don't you? He's like, you <laughs> forgot about all that. Yami pulled. Yami it is pulled either Aaron him or you. Aaron. <laughs> hey, yeah. He, he came up on his face here. like that. You, you wanna kill him, him don't you? He's what like, about granddad? Oh. He's stuck in there. You wanna save him, right? Well, this is the only way. I can't do. No, it. that was nuts. I can't do it. Like My man pulled up the Kaiba and said, Mind crush. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and get that evil out of you. Yeah, that was good. I need to get back on the show. It's been probably a month since I've gotten back on it. Here goes. It's a solid time, bro. It's a, it's a great, great time. Everybody evolves as characters, him. except for Tristan. Tristan really doesn't do much of anything dueling wise. No, I feel really bad because I feel like he barely gets screen time and barely has That's like... Have no. you seen his deck? It's for good reason. Come when on, they all turn into their favorite monsters in the he uh, barely in battles from so far. Yeah, you wanna know why? Because his best card is Cyber Commander, a card with what? 850 attack points. What card in Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> has 50 in the attack points that you brag about? You had what? Joey like, oh, Joey, what's your favorite card? Oh, Flame Swordsman? Okay, all right, Yugi, <laughs> what's your favorite card? Oh, Dark Magician? What about you, Tristan? Oh, I like Cyber Commander. <laughs> no wonder Tristan doesn't duel. Ooh. Tristan duels with the AI Easy Bot deck. Cyber Commander? And he loses. <laughs> Cyber Commander! That's your favorite card? Yeah, to anything else. You could have said Monster Reborn, and I would have been like, yeah, you should be. Yeah, okay, Monster Reborn. Oh, well, what do you like? Dark Hole? Yeah, okay, Dark Hole. Hell, you could have said Karibo. Karibo comes in clutch for everybody. Cyber Commander? I just spoke. He spoke cock. 750 attack. That's stupid. that's even worse. I said 850. I gave him too much credit. I, I pulled up the card. It is 750. 750. <laughs> and then you got goddamn fucking what's his name? Bones, Gons, whatever the hell his name is. What's his card? Crash Clown. What, what, what was it? 1350 attack or 1275? And they wonder why, why Yugi's stronger, because he's got a Dark Magician. Ne I was going to say, I've never seen this guy fight, but holy shit, that's probably why. Why? Hold on. No, 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 no. There was so What was the Castle of Illusion? The guy that used Ooh. Castle of Illusion. No, 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 no. Because Castle of Illusion has a goddamn... No, what's it called? It's not Castle of Illusion. What was it called? Castle of Dark Illusion. Uh -huh. Castle of Dark Illusion has 920 attack points 
and 1930 defense points. Japan, what the hell are we doing? Is does this guy have this too? No, it was a different guy. The guy that that beat Mai and took her star chips and then you get to fight him and he used oh, catapult the, turtle. Yeah. Yeah. What card uses has 20 and 30 in the attack and defense points? It doesn't what? even look right. When's the last time you dueled somebody and now their health their health is at 230 life points? It don't make no goddamn sense. Did mine lose that fight? Yes. Yeah. She okay, got I cooketh. I remember that one then. But it makes no sense. Why those numbers? What was what was Crass Clown? Hold on. Crass Clown had a weird had a weird weird attack points. Hold on. And begin. This is really just worse, Yamcha. Crash Clown was thirteen fifty. Okay, there was a card that had seventy five in the attack points, and I did not like it. Oh my god. I feel like I've never, like, looked at the cards, and I've kind of just watched the anime. This does not make any sense, Hong. I feel like, wow, that, that must be a really good card. You just kicked her ass. I don't know how my lost Harpy Lady stuff was pretty solid, because Mai's a terrible goddamn I mean, duelist! Doesn't she only have a shit ton of, like, Harpy Ladies? Yeah, but those cards are really good. Mai is a terrible- Mai sucks! Now, she's better than Taya. It doesn't take much to be better. My left pinky toe's better than Taya. Yeah. Taya is about there with Tristan. Motherfuckers is there for emotional support and friendship. <laughs> T Tristan is there for when I need to throw hands with somebody. That's what Tristan is Tristan there is for. Tristan is their IRL fighter, that's about it. Yeah, if I gotta throw hands with someone, that's what Tristan's there for. I mean... Mai just... You, you fucking photos. I feel like Mai kind of like was like, yeah, I'm gonna give this to you because I kind of low-key suck. But, you know, she I'm gonna paint it so that I'm a good person. She and... cheated and lost! <laughs> oh, yeah. She cheated and lost! She's like, this crazy. With a I good deck. Not like this. With a good deck! With a better deck. Can we talk about how Sword Stalker is a underrated card that looks really cool that no one talks about in Sword Kaiba's Stalker deck? Was I, Sword Stalker was Kaiba my deck? favorite. It was in Kaiba's deck. Sword Stalker was one of my favorite cards as a kid. Because it looked so cool. Ooh. And oh, oh, yeah. it was one of those five star cards. But he looks so cool, BB. Oh, no, he looks badass. He looks so cool. If I ever became consumed by the by chaos, I would want my person to look like Sword Stalker. Yeah, Joey with uh the Time Wizard. Find me a better pair. <laughs> time Wizard. That's time a, Wizard well, and that's the Swordsman. <laughs> Go, Tom Wizard. I like how he used Time Wizard against Yugi. And was like, I have a thousand dragon. Your dark magician stands no chance now. Ah, uh, well, you see, Joey. Ah, uh, here I we go, you, you fucking photo. And we have Sage of a Thousand Years. He's become stronger after all the thousand years of training. Okay, kick of games. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and that baby dragon. Oh, baby dragon. Baby dragon. How could we can forget? Well, that was the thing with Joey's deck. Joey's deck was what we call the gambler's deck. Apparently, Dotto's mm -hmm. made a bunch of, well, at least one good gambler's deck. And like, that's... Master Duel. Joey, okay, Joey's go, whole thing was yeah. a gambler's deck. And I honestly loved him for it. Beat his ass, Thunder. Okay. I jumped. Beat his I, ass. I just kind of scooted on past. I feel it. You did beat his ass, Speaking though. of cheating... <laughs> Speaking of cheating, it's kind of uh, good old T shot yeah. cheating again. Kind of let him know I didn't really feel like it and kept it moving. Nine thirty, and time for me to eat din din. I'm gonna get going soon, but it was nice like chilling with you guys. Yeah, I know, I know. 
Why do all the women in my life keep leaving me? Because we like to take care of ourselves, Hom, goddammit. No! I'm surviving off photosynthesis right now. <laughs> photosynthesis. I haven't Photo eaten since midnight yesterday. I'm not. I'm, look, Hom, it's so How am I alive? Self-care five minutes, bro. If I could get five minutes just eating a little bit of food, it's self-care day. Bro, five minutes? All right, I'm timing you. You got five minutes, and then you're oh coming back. Oh, my God, literally. She's been drinking for, like, back. seven hours. Don't, no, no, no. I've been... Bro, I got jumped by the bank today this morning. I don't want to hear it. I also got jumped. They said, did you know that you ordered this card five months ago? We shredded that shit. I was like, oh. oh They're like, yeah, well, you we ordered got this in October. <laughs> You got no. jumped by different things. I'm gonna put it in a I feel like I can say it in here and then delete it. It's fine. Maybe was like, no. yeah, I, I ordered a card like last week or something. They're like, maybe no. I literally did that. I'm not even kidding. I don't remember when the fuck I came in. I thought it was like a month ago. And I was like, yeah, like I wasn't here too long ago. They're like, ma'am, you came in October. And I was like, oh shit, really? Wait, you just dropped? Or are you dropping in general? Yeah, I'm typing it out. New home just dropped. Hold you on. just dropped the castle of dark illusions. Victory! Victory! You did it! I did oh, it. We first ass. tried. Let's go! The ghost Let's slap go! Around. Fuck yeah! I just seen that victory screen right now. Let me know when you read it so I can get rid of it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Oh shit. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so when you said the bank jumped you, I was like, yeah, no, I feel you. Ah, uh, that's different. Every Damn. Time. You Every got time. jumped. Every time. Every time you I say a little, I get shaboing boinged. They're like, you got five dollars? Let me take a thousand. I'm just sitting here like, why? <laughs> Although I will say, I have been throughout my life good enough with my money to where I have never in all my 25 years of living ever been in the red. Same. Hmm, hell yeah. That's a dub. I had, Well, I take that back. I had a I took out a loan for my car. So I guess mm -hmm. I guess that I mean my car's paid off now, but I guess for a little while I was a tiny bit. I feel it. But that was yeah. credit and stuff. Oh man. Credit. I haven't touched my credit card in five months. I gotta start I building credit. Uh, so, have you ever heard of a chime? Like, chime banking? I've heard, I've seen the commercials, yeah. So that's what I have, because you don't really have to pay anything. Yeah. Like, you know how, like, some banks are like, you have to have X amount of money in your account or else we charge you? Mm -hmm. Or, like, mm -hmm. shit like that. So chime doesn't charge me for anything. If I, uh, go to an ATM and, uh, pull money out, and they, like, charge you, like, that $2 surcharge fee or something, chime covers it for me. Uh... They have a credit builder card that I've just been using as my debit card now, where... So it works like a credit card in a sense where it builds up your credit. But mm -hmm. you can't, like, go over what you... You can't spend what you don't have. So that it doesn't fuck you. Gotcha. Yeah, that's so cool. I've been using that for however long and just building up my credit slowly but surely through that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I spent money on a car and then i called myself an established woman and then oh. i yeah and then i built my credit that way would you recommend it i would i've never had any issues with them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i've never used it but i trust tom i it's vouch. super accessible like the the options in it so anytime i do anything new with anything whether it's like a new account for like a game or whatever the fuck i always go to like settings options and see what everything is there Mm -hmm. Just to fiddle with it. Chime got a shit ton of fucking options. Hey, yo, GG's, man. I'm proud like, of you. You can, you can turn off international uh, payments. You can turn on uh, certain things. It's a fun time. So, like, a debit card with the benefits of a credit card? Well, they give you a debit card when you first apply to it. And then when you're there, you have to, like, ask them for the credit builder card. So, you get two cards. And you don't have to, like, so, you know how, like, if you move your money to savings, sometime it takes a minute for you to, like, move it to your checking? Like, some banks will be like, uh, well, you need to wait, like, one to three business days to move your money from your savings to your checkings account to spend it. Chime kind of just fucking does it on the spot and doesn't charge you for it. 
I've never had a problem with that because I always just deposit immediately. Like it just it's just in and out. I feel it. I just throw money in savings because I don't want to touch it. Damn you responsible and, for real. I live so paycheck like, to paycheck, bro. No, I I feel it. I, I, I kinda have like the benefit of not having to do that right now. Oh. Again. I used to. Damn, because I looked at Final Fantasy and I'm like, damn, I gotta take money out of my fucking savings. Alright, bet. Then I looked at Kirby and I was like, damn, I gotta take out more? Alright, bet. Then I saw that Mario DLC and I was like, alright, more? Let's go. Nah, fuck that. The moment, folks, I, I started planning shit accordingly. Kagi got me fucking Final Fantasy. Kirby, I just spent Kirby. I just spent my own money on it. Yeah, That's, man. I, I went and door dashed for like a couple hours. Yeah, and no, then instantly bro. pulled that money out for Kirby. My wallet is getting railed from the behind right now. I think for the most part, oh. like, bills-wise, I'm fine. Besides that one thing that I just told you guys about. Other than that, everything's been chilling. Hell yeah, King. Do your shit. I bought a bed. Mm. Because my old bed kind of like ran out. Like I've had it for like five, six years. And it was like, all right, well, sorry to get back pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bought a new bed uh, last year. And I got about, what was it? It cost me like 1200 mm -hmm. And it's like a no interest rate thing for 18 months. Damn, you fancy so basically, with that ass bed. I have until October to pay off 200 bucks. Oh, you fancy, huh? Well, I mean, I would like no back pain. I woke up one day and I couldn't move my neck. I'm about to be like 30 years old with like deformed back and scoliosis bro oh i don't need that stress in my life i'm just, i'm chugging through but at least i can play kirby i can I play kirby in the forgotten land i love chime i just hate that my boss pays me in cash yo you got one of those under the table jobs is that what i'm hearing no bro that's fire no i mean that's 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 fine it's just that's untaxable you got one of them i remember no, I've, had, I've had them before that's what i'm gonna start calling it it's untaxable there was a. Uh... It was like years ago. I never really talk about like shit that I used to do before because it just never came up. But like years ago when I used to live on my own, uh, I used to get paid under the table at a Sam's Club. Hey, yo. Because my so my dad was friends with the owner, the one that ran that that specific store. So when he died, the owner kind of was just like a a parental figure in my life. So he made sure like that I was like set in a sense. So we had like the pay stubs, a little timestamp thing, right? I wouldn't clock in normally. I would like go to him when I show up. He would write down the time and be like, okay, if you work this and this and that, this is what you would do. And half the time I would work and half the time I would goof off. But I would feel bad when I goofed off because, you know, he didn't want to upset me. He was just like looking out because my dad looked out for him and his kids growing up and stuff. But that man used to pay me 20 an hour cash under the table. Hey, bro. Because as he put it, since you're living on your own, uh, you can technically file for unemployment because you don't have a quote unquote legit job. job. Se, yeah. The books. So I, I was getting about 20 an hour from him and I was getting about five to 700 from unemployment. And unemployment went up a bit because I showed them my medical history. And I have a history of seizures since I was a kid. And then mm -hmm. like the coma I had when I played football and stuff like that. So they was like, okay, you got a lot of you got a lot of brain things. They was like, okay, your nerves are like, you guys will, will notice it in person. Like I'll be holding my phone sitting and then my hand will just be like shaking for no reason. Because my nerves are kind of fucked in a sense. Yeah. So it was like with a bunch of that, so they kind of just like never questioned anything. Mm -hmm. So I was I was making a good like 2300 a month kind of doing nothing god damn dude. i was I, I can't say you just like me for real I, i'm quite the opposite bro one of the bad things about that though was uh my dad had a lot of debt when he died and then you're just like hey so, so eventually uh, it was like everything went to my mom's name and and like, she doesn't so. work she's not from here she can't fucking mm -hmm. pay for that so basically everything that i saved up was just to pay that off Hmm. Because, you know, I'm not going to let my mom fucking suffer for shit that my dad did. We're just, like, carrying the weight. Mom's responsible and shit, chat. I'm, a, I'm something. He's responsible. Damn. So now we're back to square one. However. I'm getting my ass kicked by a flower. 
I, I, I see that. I'm literally watching this right now. Why is this bitch dancing on you? I want you to know when he did the little hand movement where he's looking yeah. like he's throwing his hands down. He just that's just me. That's how that's how I'm gonna meet you. Mm. 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 <laughs> It all good for no. you. No, so it wasn't wasn't for me. I was fine. This you died screen is not as hurtful. It's not not as hurtful as the See, Elden Ring one. As like yeah. Elden Ring or anything else that says you died. Because they they do the don't you died. It's really quick too, but like in Souls games, like that shit will just resonate and it'll be there, and you just stare at it. You're like I also yeah. can't get mad at this game. Cause I remember I watched the uh, the behind the scenes of them making this game, and everything in this is hand drawn. They worked so hard on this shit. Yeah, and I was like, bro, I don't care if I get my ass beat. I can't get angry. Did they make the Netflix show like that, or is just the game? I would have no idea. I would assume so because that's how the uh, they have this that little art style old timey just thing. Like yeah. That. yeah. But the fact that they hand drew everything for a video game is insanity. That's fucking nuts. You just animated it. Yeah. I like hand-drawn animations. That's why mm -hmm. I like the Ghibli movies a bit more. You know what was the last hand-drawn like, anime thing that I see? What's that um, racing movie? Cars? Wasn't that the last? Hold on, hold on, no, 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 the racing anime movie. Hold on. Oh, anime. Uh, hold on. Akira? Redline. Redline oh, was the cool. last um, hand-drawn anime movie I believe that was made. Yo, that flower fucking dies. That is a face. Yeah. Yeah, Red Redline was good. I need her to and have me like, looking like that. I know. So when I saw it, I was like, this was hand drawn? That shit was nuts to me. Gotta dig a little deeper. Wendy, thank you for Prime 74. Appreciate you. Anytime hey, yo, you. Wendy. Let's go. Woo, woo. 74 months. Gotta dig a little deeper. Find out who you are. Mm -mm. All right, well, I noticed my basketball team was up by like 20 something points in the third quarter. So it must mean we're only up by three if I click on the score right now. Never mind, we're up by 40. Damn. Damn. It That's feels dope. nice for once to look at the score and be like, oh, it's uh, 93 to 72. Surely. Surely we're, we let them back into the game. Nope. Feels good, man. What up, Charizard? Princess and the Frog too. Princess and the Frog was Disney's last 2D animated. Yeah, it's the last thing that the the hand drew the shit for. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was such a good movie. Gotta be one of my favorites. Tiana's one of my favorite uh, Disney princesses. It's a bopper. Oh, all the songs in there, so good. Mama Odie and me and my grandmama. Tiana's one of my favorite uh, princesses. I don't know if I loved the movie. I only watched it once. I watched it on time. He's definitely know. like my, probably my top three favorite Disney princesses. I enjoyed it because I could relate to it a lot. I felt that. Anytime I'm like, I can hey, relate working to something hard, like, I'm like, yo, she just like me for real. Chad, like, I still tear up that back at the barnyard sometimes. Back at the barnyard. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> like, I remember I brought that up and Lotus, before I could explain why, Lotus was giving me so much shit about it because, you know, that's just how friends are. And then I was like, you're not even letting me explain why. And for five minutes would not let me explain. And then when he finally let me explain, he was like, why are you crying at back in the barnyard? Because, <laughs> bro, his dad died. It reminded me of my dad. He was like, oh, hey, bro, you know we cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> this wild. Clippers team is one of the most disappointing teams I've seen in a while. It's OK. We're beating them by 40. They're the, beta they're the greatest team of all time, bro. That's the and we're beating them. It's insane. Hey, oh, oh yeah, who are you beating? You guys. The Clippers. Wait, who's your team, Hom? Huh? The Sixers. Anything in Philadelphia, I, I just, it's, that's just my thing. Nice. It feels nice not being the one losing by 40. Have no, you I'm, not I'm seen the you. Lakers? Mm, I, I, don't, I don't watch sports, bro. I'm, a, okay. I'm a weeb that lives inside my room. I don't watch TV. I don't watch sports. I play anime and watch anime titties. I also do that and then throw footballs. E, when you throw on football, I throw on more anime titties. I just that's why the dual monitors are there. Oh, I'm his eagle Damn. Man, yeah. That Damn, is double monitor for titties for me, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> there, here's the thing: you put one titty on one monitor and the other titty on the other. 
It's just a massive double tittied screen. Exactly, bro. It's just <laughs> one big old titty and then another big old titty. It's weird when their screens aren't the same size because then the titties look lopsided. However, it's still a titty. Hey, that's realistic as fuck. That's... Let's go. That's... I don't, I don't think I've like ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a twenty-inch titty and a fourteen-inch titty in my life before. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I didn't know you meant that much of a difference between monitors, God. Yeah, bro. I don't know what this uh, real life thing is. I've never seen. I've never seen a titty wink at me. <laughs> oh God. That's like that's exactly what I was saying, Chad. I was like, man. Tom was like, yeah, I'm gonna, sl I'm gonna like punch your left titty because for some reason when he threatens people, he's like, I'm gonna punch specifically your left titty. I'm like, yes, please. That one is actually smaller. So it made me, it made me realize. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It couldn't, we can just make it even size. So yeah. Tom, what you can do is you can just punch your monitor, make them both even sized. I don't think that's how that works. I, I think the mechanics. Uh, well, no, I've, up. I've seen Summit 1G punch his monitor. Oh, it, it broke. Oh. It doesn't. There's no blood vessels in that. See, it works different with a titty, right? Because, you know, it'll swell up and da da da. Yeah, yeah. Can't oh, relate to him. That's fine. It's because I have a titty. It's just small on both ends, bro. Relate. God nah, damn. Just, nah, I'm just going to punch the shit out of you. It's fine. He, he just... <laughs> it's out of love, BB. It's because I care. Tom's just going to have a business. Instead of, like, having surgical procedures, Chad, he's just going to be punching titties. It's gonna be punching titties, bro. Maybe we do a little Ric Flair woo shop, you know. Oh, because known titty puncher. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Dr. Hamvino, bro. It's insane. Hey, girl, how'd you get your massive titties? Oh, I went down the street to Ham BKE Services. What does he do? He's a specialist. He's a specialist. <laughs> the moment a guy pisses me off, I'm gonna give his girlfriend my specialist fucking card so she can come get her titties punched. <laughs> that way I can just make eye contact and look at him and be like, yeah. Yeah, I slapped your girl's titty. And then he what comes home like, hey, something's a little different. Yeah, you And like you them. paid for it. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you you <laughs> paid for me to slap your, your titty. Titties. How's it feel to be a cuck? Good lord. Doctors hate him. Doctors hate him. <laughs> Doctors. <laughs> Doctors hate him. Find out his secret. Hey, look, bro. <laughs> I Man. can also start slapping on wee wees if guys want that. Uh, I'm not sure it'll turn out exactly no the same slapper. way, but it'll have a temporary. Nah, that's, that's fine, bro. It's fine. I got him. That temporary swelling is going to go crazy. Nah, bro. It's fine. It won't be temporary the way I do it. He said, Woo, how hard do you want this to go? How big do you want this to be? Who needs Viagra when you have me? Man, that's crazy. Holy shit, it's almost one year guys' time. When do you guys stop? Well, it's almost midnight for me. Home's got an hour on me. Yeah. Ah, there you go. I also started late today because I've been doing shit. But... Oh, chat. We get it. Now. Thunder has hoes. It's not that. I wish. Chat, Thunder... did you guys know that Thunder's been leaving us because he's got bitches? He's got hella bitches. I had a fucking meeting today. He yeah, pulls with out bitches. He... Yeah, I no, know. It's not worth it. He's got either. pussy appointments. <laughs> yes. He's got pussy appointments. Nah, not appointment. It's just pussy appointment. Yeah. Back to back, apparently, chat. Every day. Thunder he had a leaves us at 3 a.m. every day for pussy appointments. Thunder was doing harem applications. I thought <laughs> folks were coming to me, bro. They didn't look at Thunder. They don't realize it's not for one. Oh, quiet, guys. That's Thundershot Harem 75, bro. <laughs> we thought that 75 stood for just, you know, a random number. No, that's how many women he got lining up. Man, they're all calling him Thundercock, too. It's crazy. I mean, I stay bricked when I think of home. Excuse me? Whoa! I mean, hey. You, you do what now? Y'all do that, man. I don't care, um, bro. Nothing will make me feel as good about myself as the day that I was making my chest pop and BB started barking at me. <laughs> that was, I, that was a true bark, bro. That was that, my natural instances. That was, we were all... Because here's the thing. When you're drunk and high, you tend to be your, your actual self. And BB just unprovoked just started barking. She hit an auga. She kept telling me <laughs> to keep doing it. And I'm I kept like, doing yeah, it. Yeah, bounce that ass, boy. Do it. Do it. 
<laughs> Phoebe was just being aggressively horny towards me, and it made me feel all tingly on the inside. That that day was just insane because why was Cinna and I just throwing like like basketball hoops in the back? Like what were we doing? No, bro. Why was I swaying my hips? <laughs> yeah, that that was that has to happen again, man. That was insane. Yeah. I was about to say, Toasty don't have hoes. Toasty's uh, happily married at Toasty this point. locked down, as it were. Yeah. That'd be good for him. Congratulations! Congratulations. Oh. Honestly, Toasty deserves happiness, so I'm, I'm chilling. If anybody deserved it, it was Toasty. He's a great guy. We love to see our friends thrive. I'm still oh, waiting yeah, for Oh, yeah, you're day. right. Shakira did come on. That's why you were shaking your hips. That is true. Shakira, Shakira. All I'm saying is, bro, for, for months, I was telling folks that I, I dance with my hips a lot. They gyrate, they schmoove. And then folks saw it gyrate and schmoove. And I had like, a lot of friends asking me lie. questions. I had a lot of my friends ask me, now why were they moving so fluidly? Hey, yo, teabag that thing, Thunder. Fuck them up. Nice, bro, but Thunder, Let's the go. HP bonus. Perfect run? Hey, yo! You know me. Proud of you, Thunder. Proud of you, Thunder. Thundercock! Thundercock! I, I wish to see it one day. I this is uh, gonna be the easiest of Platinums. No, it won't. That's crazy. Maybe do you think, right, if I put my hand near Thunder's dick at TwitchCon, like yes. electricity will start popping up to my fingers like Mjolnir? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he'll just start charging you and your phone. Thunder Absolutely. definitely got a little Mjolnir Stormbreaker down there. I'm gonna put my mm -hmm. hand there, and if it, if it comes to my hand, then, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, insane. It's just the basic right standard now. out here. With my prayers. He's gonna say a prayer of the moment that you reach your hand down. He's like, may I? Sure. Have you... You guys have seen Key and Pill, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen the gay wedding skit? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I have, no. So there was, like... Honestly, they were sort of like like the ignorant folks, but like in a in a joking manner. So mm -hmm. the guy was like, he was like, so what do we do at the gay wedding? He was like, well, it's just it would just be like a normal wedding, you know. It's just he was like, will we get a priest or will we get like a a male stripper? And mm -hmm. he was like, no, you would it would get a normal priest. All right, but when in the wedding do we sing? It's raining men, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's raining men. <laughs> We don't do that. Y'all ain't got no gay hymns at the gay wedding. There's no such thing as gay hymns. I don't know why you get. He was like, "Now, nah, what do we throw besides rice at the gay wedding?" He was like, "What? What would you throw besides rice?" I don't know, man. Couscous. And I don't know what it was, but the night, the night, me and Lotus heard him say, "I don't know, bro." Couscous. For two hours, we didn't stop laughing. I know Toasty was on a kick for a while calling couscous gay rice. Yeah, we were. I'm assuming that's what we, I came from. We lost it. That's just like me for real. I'm gay rice. All right, Shane, your name in my phone to couscous. Thanks, man. Anytime. That's me for real. Couscous smalls. Couscous smalls. I didn't realize that's who I was. Just imagine it Thundercock and Palm the Black Hammer. What the fuck Whoa. are we doing here? All right, y'all go ahead and do that. I haven't gone to eat yet. Yo, baby, you cannot food, leave baby. now. That's, that's crazy. I'm going to go talking. ahead and save myself. Wait. Hi, wait. Thunder. Hi, Senna. Senna's not here. This is BB Smalls. This is, I'm yeah. fucking BB Smalls. Why? You sexist. Why? You is misogynist. It is it because is I'm it, a is woman? It because, is it because I'm a woman? Nah, bro, you Senna Smalls now. Uh. Yeah, apparently I'm just apparently I'm just Cinna 2.0, bro. I don't even sound alike. We don't sound alike. Everyone no, just thinks no, that no, I'm Cinna. No, no, that's not true. Because we were when we were in California, we were in the back oh, of the car. Actually, yeah. And they both had an identical laugh. They laughed at the same time in the exact same way, and everybody was. That like, was what actually the, fuck? the one in a lifetime opportunity. It was the weirdest thing because that shit was synced up. Everything. And was I like, think Kayla was on the shit it. was that. I Kayla wasn't noticed there, so it. it's not real. Kayla was like, wait, was that BB or Cinna? And we both were like, we both just laughed. And then Thunder, like, looks at us, and we're both still laughing. And he's like, no, yeah, that's both of them. Yeah, it's crazy. On Women's History Month, chat. During March? Say March? Marcel, David, 32. Just wait five more days, chat. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get some food. I haven't eaten yet. It's about to be 10 my time. I'm responsible and old. My yeah, own it's 1 a.m. There's nothing it. open. Ain't nothing even open for me to get, even if I wanted to. Hey, oh, that's crazy. Shit's still open now. That's why I gotta go. West Coast. So West Coast, best coast. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, bye chat. Bye, bye Hom. Dude. Bye, Thunder. Bye. I miss her already. She's gone. I was going to call her phone and be like, I miss us. 1 a.m. gang. Chat, I think I want to do one more boss before we call tonight. That'll put me at four hours today. And then we'll start early tomorrow. Hopefully we'll start early. We either do more of this or uh, Final Fantasy. Go around for Final Fantasy. Probably will be. I know I'm doing either Saturday or Sunday. Rhyme and, and Dotto are kicking my ass in, in fighters. Oh, yeah. I mean, whenever they're around. I, like I said, I can be flexible. Yeah. I got a few games to play, so. I know. It's going to be that. I know I'm doing an Elden Ring with someone, so if not Saturday, then definitely Sunday. Tomorrow's Saturday? Yeah, it is Friday. Yeah. Your first parry move doubles as a damaging axe attack? I feel like I'm not... I feel like I have everything I use, Chad. I, I use the smoke. I'll use the smoke instead of the HP thing. And, uh... The fucking... Mega shooter is kind of what I go with. We can try the lobber. I don't know. Oh, I only have one coin. Why am I back here? Thought I had more coins. Five more days I can finally listen to Future and Drake again? What do you mean, in five more days? I, I haven't stopped. Oh, that's why you were saying six more days earlier. I couldn't figure yeah. out. Yeah. Like, that's what. Six, that's six more days, and it's April. All right, guys, tell me you don't have sex without telling me you don't have sex. I start. I'll start first. I'm level 400 in Dokkan. All right, chat. Well, your damn, turn. he really set the fucking table on that one. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I don't like this. I feel like that's bait. What do you mean that's bait? It's literally just tell me you're you don't have sex without saying I don't have sex. I'm almost level 700. Dear fucking lord. I'm pretty sure at that point your dick has retracted into your body, son. I'm a One Piece fan and I play Dokkan. Dear good lord in heaven. I'm watching Twitch on a Friday night. All right, yeah, TGZ. Easy. We didn't have to go there. Yeah, all right, hold on. Oh, yeah, Kakarotu did play League so much, he got Carpal Tunnel in both hands. And he's level 400 plus in Dokkan. Dear Lord, you just... Yeah, but women like League, so that kind of, like, counteracts each other. You're just, like, normal now. Now, to be fair, this is, like... Month one account. I mean, I've watched Batman three times. I don't think you guys are understanding the bit. Alright, well, time to open up Dokkan, get me some stone, summon for something that I don't care for or I'm never going to get, and then call it a day. Classic. Virgin lifestyle, baby. Ooh, they hate us because they ain't us. Ah, uh, I only got one dragon stone. Hold on. The women fuck ah. more if you play League. It depends if you are talking to a woman who plays League or not. Yeah. Anytime I my friends see me playing League, they always ask me what's her name. So. Don't ask me to raid channels. It's weird. The weird request. Yeah, people do that <clears throat> to me sometimes, and either I like out of instinct to read it and be like, "Well, fuck, well, I've acknowledged it." And then sometimes I just ignore it and just raid no one. I want to point out, B Bees and I are chill. But, that I mean, that's just just because it's very possible, you know, one day I get recommended. Fuck, why am I bad at this? One day I get recommended, like, oh, you should raid this person from someone I'm either not chill with or literally don't know at all. And it's like, why would I do that? This is a goofy thing to ask. Yeah, check it if you do. Apparently there's a trophy for beating one of these guys with only the tiny airplane bullets. You just have oh. to be tiny the whole fucking time. I believe in you. I'm not doing that now. 
Why not? Did we start? Why are you as a man? Get why rating someone is funny, but sure. I think because he's funny. I don't know. I don't know. Oh fuck, I turned on the bomb. I was expecting my other special. Whoops. Okay, and now I'm dead. I don't remember this guy being that bad. I don't think he's gonna be that hard to get. Chad, over on over under, y'all wanna see me stream Kirby? Never played a Kirby game. That one looks like it's up my alley because it's, you know, platform where you go here and do that and look for secrets and over, shit. Over, over! Oh, damn, Thunder, I... Over, over, resounding over right here. A resounding what? It was, oh, it was a resounding <laughs> over, yeah. <laughs> that took me a minute. Alright. Whoever says no. Y'all fake fans. Fuck. Fuck. Juice. Shit. I just fucking just end me now. It's to end me now. That's me right now, grinding four stones in Dokkan because I'm four away from 50 and the itch. They're making me play the game, Thunder. Ooh. Can't you, doesn't it play itself now when they come out with that? Yeah, but you have to beat the... Oh, wait, never mind. Here's auto battle. All right. Thanks for reminding me. I reverted back to, to dumb. Good. They made Dokkan a game so boring, gameplay-wise, that the best way to play it is to make the game play itself for you. And they knew that, so they put it in. You know, after like six, seven years. I called it a feature. That's how I felt playing Cyberpunk, bro. They're not glitches. They're features. You're supposed you're supposed to fly halfway across the map. Ah fucking are not even aiming at me. You saw the uh the Triple H stuff, right? Yeah, he's officially not gonna wrestle anymore. Yeah, that shit hurted. But at the same time, I'm glad he's alive. Because that man, the way he was on talking about on that interview, he was probably about like a day or two from just dying. Like he can't, like he couldn't have stepped in the ring again if he wanted to, or what? No, he's a defibrillator in his heart, a little pacemaker. So basically, he was uh, uh, the way your heart pumps like oxygen and stuff is supposed to be like you know, in like. The, the 60s. That's the normal number. Okay. He was in the 20s. Oh my god. His his lung. He was in the no. He wasn't in the 20s. He was in the 30s. His lungs were full of fluid, and he was coughing up blood. Oh my god. So he went to the. He he went into the. He got a text from somebody and said, "Don't ask questions. Pack a bag. Head to the fucking ER." And then when he went there, he was in the 20s, which is essentially heart failure. So basically, if he, you know, if he wasn't taking care of his body, yeah, we probably, we probably would have lost two wrestlers in this month. Good God. Oh, yeah. So he's never gonna wrestle again because you know, there's a fucking thing in his in his heart. But oddly enough, his last match against Randy, and his last WrestleMania match against Batista. That's badass. Did I ever play Kirby yeah. Air Ride? No, but I used to watch Pants do speedruns of Kirby Air Ride. He would do 100% Kirby Air Ride speedruns. Oh, I speed did! Run. I love Kirby Air Ride. I used to play it at the Walmart gaming kiosk where you have to, like, snap your neck backwards looking up. Oh my god, that's a throwback. Yeah. I remember at one point I got smart and grabbed the shopping cart and got inside of it so that I could just, like, sit. 
and not have to like stand and lean. The greatest thing I ever did. They're probably gonna induct them into the Hall of Fame next year, but I would really, I really, really would have wanted it if they did it this year. Because this class with Taker is not looking all that hot. Well, Taker's the headline guy though, and Triple H is gonna be the headline guy in whatever year he's in. Yeah, but Batista's yet to get in, because he declined his invitation because he wanted to do it when there's people. So Batista probably does his next did, year. Wait, did they, did they invite him this year, or they invited him during COVID, and he wanted to wait till people were back? He invited him during COVID, but he wanted to wait till people were back. And since he does movies and stuff, they're probably gonna wait till next year for Hollywood. It makes sense for Taker this year because you know Texas. But man, next year's class could literally have Batista and Triple H headline it. Oh, what the fuck is this? You're fighting yourself. That pellet just came out so fast. Was Triple H's last match Batista and Brian? No. No, no he's had God, like five no. since then. He's had. That's been. It's been five years after that. His last match was last year in January. He fought uh, Randy in like a street fight. Did I miss this? When did this happen? He fought Batista in a street fight. No, no, he fought Batista in a street fight at Mania, but he fought Randy in a street fight at on Raw during uh, the the Thunderdome stuff. That was his last ever match. Did he win or lose? I feel like I remember this. Yeah, can't remember if he won or lost. There's a lot of times where I didn't watch Raw during COVID because, you know, Roman and SmackDown. Yeah, I had no reason to. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this fight would be easier than it has been. And beating my ass. Mainly that, that, for some reason, that middle area is just doing me in. Last match was against Saudi or, or in Saudi Arabia that year. Was it Saudi? No, it wasn't Saudi. Triple H, last match. On Raw. Like that, shit like that, where like I'm not touching anything and then I just take damage and fuck me up. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't in Saudi. His last match was last year. Against Randy on Raw. I knew I wasn't high. I had to look it up real quick. I'm getting 2K22 next week with 20 bucks off. How are you getting it with 20 bucks off? Don't blow up on the fucking... Damn it. The match ended with a fireball. I tried to forget that. No, no, no. I'm here to remind you. Because that's when Randy was still doing the... Uh, that Fiend storyline. Because it was for Mania. Randy probably won that if they were gearing him up with a Fiend. I think a fireball was shot out. I think Randy got hit with a fireball. If you remember that thing. Oh, like yeah, because he was doing the burn victim shit for a minute. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it was. Randy got hit by a fireball and that's how it ended. I still like the video of how Randy gets into the fucking zone to piss people off as a heel. Man says, I just make myself woozy and then scream. It feels like it would exist as a fever dream if it wasn't a real thing. This particular level goes a little crazy. Fever department. My appliance store is just running a random discount on the game section for the next five days. Pog. Oh, I see us today with 25 bucks off. Nice. Dokkan, get this auto battle feature. Where's the skip option in Dokkan? That's what it is.
Die. Still sitting here with fear in my heart. That fucking Brock doesn't beat Roman at Mania. Yeah. Uh, Swear to God, if that happens, I'm I'm not watching the product for a good chunk of time again. Oh my God, yeah. I... Nothing would turn me off quicker. I'm gonna go start watching fucking V Trigger ninety times in a row, just to prove a point. Oh my God, I needed to, I needed to finish that card in the bottom left and special one more time. We were so close. Good. This is the run. I got jinxed. I got jinxed by Hokage Alex. Good job, Hokage Alex. I'm sorry. Okage Alex 8. Alright, time to do a summon on Dokkan. I've had a fly, like a big fucking fly in my room for like four days. And it's it's got to be on its last legs. There's no way this thing can live much longer going off how long flies are supposed to live. But I'm so tired of this thing. It's just been surviving off the crumbs in your room. I'm just, I'm playing the odds with the, how typically, how long it fly life cycle typically is the fucking jewelry opening sucks mod check ah uh, well don't worry i got him yeah don't go it's a bad game Give the bot fly some beer, it'll die real quick. Yeah, but then you're wasting beer. Wait for it to drunkenly fly into a wall or something. Just slams into the window. Curse blot. Alright, now that I have you here, how does the how does the Tyreek thing feel a couple days later? Um, I mean I still kinda stand by the opinion I had on day one, which is I think it's bad I think it's a bad trade. As far as, like, only looking at next season, I think it's a bad trade for Miami and for Kansas City. And I think, ultimately, it's going to be a good trade for KC over time. Let's say, because that like, man would It definitely, will, like, weakened us for next year, obviously, losing the best wide receiver in the fucking game. The fastest wide receiver, at least, in the fucking game. But, uh... That's a lot yeah. of draft picks, and Andy knows what to do with draft picks. We got Nick Bolton. I love that dude last season. I told you. It's crazy how... Three of the players that I told you you guys should get and it'll help. Alright, NFL, hire me. I should be a scout. I'm about to start sending ESPN my mock drafts. See if they'll bring me on board. Got Juju too. Yeah, Juju's either going to help them immensely or give uh Patty panic attacks. Woo! Post one chat, but we did it! That's how every time I use a super in this game, I pop out a Sailor Man spinach song plays in my head. I feel it. That's the vibe I got playing this game. Yeah, the wide receiver market fucking reset. So now it's like I'm not paying you fucking all that money. First take with Stephen A. and Hom. Nah, bro, you want. You thought he yelled. I can yell. It was almost a no damage run. Yeah, it was almost a no damage run. You know, except for the two times you got hit. Oh my god, he just fucking... If I would have talked to this guy first, I could have used the bombs in my airplane battle. Hey, but now you know. Yeah, I... eh, you don't need no stinking bombs. I miss? No, we got every boss in World 1. Sick. Didn't I'm just no waiting to see nothing. how, uh, what you call it, how Juju and Jackson Mahomes are gonna make Patty's life hell. Yeah, fucking TikTok kings, just go. <laughs> yeah, especially since Juju mainly lines up in the slot, and that's where Travis does a lot of his work. But Travis can also line up on the outside. But hey, Thunder, you know. He was prepared for it. You know, Andy, he was prepared for... He got Miko Hardman Thunder. 
Yeah, I mean, Cole's been dragging ass, but maybe now that he's our fast guy, he'll, you know, he'll get the fast guy routes. You guys signed that one wide receiver from the from the Packers who I'm gonna not I'm not gonna lie, that move was fucking terrible. Well, who is it? Who did we sign? Marquez Valdez Scantling got three years, thirty plus mil from the Chiefs. Never heard of this dude. He he's he's solid ish, but he's not. And he's not like he ain't worth ten a year. Well, maybe it'll help. Again, as long as we have distractions on the edges. I was so that I think that's the worst part is if we would have done this trade next season, I would have been fine with it. I think, but I was so looking forward to Tyreek and Juju and Travis all being on the same fucking field. Mm-hmm. Now I'm just looking at the AFC West like, what the fuck are we doing? Why would you trade him away when the AFC West is stacked? Yeah, that's Andy playing the long con. Like, maybe we can still go for a Super Bowl on this season and the next four. Maybe. Closed cup head and reopening. Now you're addicted. I'm not addicted. It was an accident. <laughs> no, nah, but I see yeah, you, we, you're not addicted, but you're, you're addicted. We can pick up wide receivers in the draft, but I don't like the idea of banking on rookies from any round to be able to carry our shit. Yeah, well, the, in this draft, it's deep, but like the the actual like trendsetter ones are at most gonna go like seventeen. Right, none of ours come until later, right? Yeah, you guys don't have you guys have twenty nine and thirty, unless you trade up. What you ain't been known to do. Uh, look, all I'm saying is my team's sitting pretty at fifteen, sixteen, and nineteen. I think we got Patty from a up trade. Yeah, you traded up with the uh, Texans, I want to say. No, not the Texans. Who did you guys trade up? Because you guys traded up to 10 or 11. You guys traded up in front of the Browns to Gab Mahomes. Yeah. We didn't trade up with the Texans because Deshaun Watson and Patrick were both still on there, and, and people clowned us yeah, yeah. and Patrick instead of Deshaun the, for a while. The Texans traded up with the Browns to get him. Who did the fuck? Hold on. Because now I need to know. Mahomes trade. What did you guys do? What did you guys do? Oh, you guys traded with the Bills. Did, Oddly enough, pick 27. They got Josh um, Allen a year later? Yeah. That might be one of the, the rare win-win trades for our team. Yeah, I'm going to put the raid on Lotus. Lotus is watching a, I believe, a tournament of a new Persona 4 fighting game. It's uh, Ultimax. It, uh, not old, but redone, essentially. Yeah. Chat him out for the night. We'll be back tomorrow, either with Final Fantasy or Squad Games or Cuphead or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Chat, appreciate y'all being here. Catch you guys next time. Y'all be easy. The Twix man, he has a counter at the bottom. Uh huh. Uh, as